Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody, but if you would like, you can book a personal reading with me, and you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on with you for April? And please remember that the roles can be reversed when the readings are general. All right. Let's see, Aquarius, for the situation we have, judgment crossed by the Five of Swords. Okay, so there, it could be that somebody is having this major revelation, realization, or like a wake-up call. Um, concerning either either a betrayal or in terms of really being taken advantage of or possibly learning how to stand up for their own self. We'll see, because we will clarify. For you, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Wands. something here that you you really really want there it's like this really big desire possibly to get something either to get on a new path or to um reconnect possibly with someone but but there's also this um I don't exactly want to say stalling. It feels more of, okay, you know what? I'm just going to give a little bit of energy to this or just kind of play around with the idea. But I feel like you're still kind of evaluating, still trying to really organize things, possibly in your head, about this. Let's see for them. We have the Two of Swords, the World, and the star. All right, so that's your energy here, Aquarius, um, showing up in, in their row. What is going on here? Because it looks like this person's not really decided either. Um, or hadn't been. It's like there, there was something that either they just were not agreeing with you on or just not really seeing things in the same way as you. Some kind of a conflict here. Possibly even just having doubts, but there's there's a completion also with the world card being here. There's um, a, an ending of a cycle or, which could be in relation to those hesitations or to that conflict or to whatever it is that they were not agreeing on with you or, um, even avoiding. So there's a closing out of that, which is then leading to some kind of hope. Okay, so that makes sense then as to why you're kind of holding back and just trying to organize things and just, you know, kind of waiting to see what might happen here. Um, we'll see. The potential outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, which the Nine of Pentacles, it's, it, it can be, you know, being single, but it can also be, um, you know, just not feeling attached. Let's see. I feel like the air signs are just really interesting. <laughs> um, so far, I feel like the air signs have been really interesting readings. Let's see. Let's clarify Judgment with the Five of Swords. the Five of Cups, the Magician, and the Emperor. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely been some kind of um, some kind of a betrayal or some kind of a deceit or just something here, right? Somebody may have been going against their own wishes. That could even be what the deceit is. Um, not standing up for themselves, not going after what they want, for example, being taken advantage of, and there's a lot of 
almost feeling like guilty because of that or feeling like they have lost out because of that. So there's a major <clears throat> um, like revelation about that. And I feel like that revelation is also attached to um, possibly having to make a decision or at the very least just, you know, making an acknowledgement or, or um, a discernment about this. Like, yeah, I guess it's, it's like figuring something out. Figuring out that they were either taken advantage of, <clears throat> and this could be you, right? Or it could be them um, in relation to somebody else or you. Okay, you would know. Um, but yeah, it's like because there's, because this person has understood this, it's like they're manifesting control now. Not allowing themselves to be taken advantage of. Um, not, not putting their needs aside in order to just please others because they feel like they've lost out. So <clears throat> let's see, let's see the seven of pentacles for you. The Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like you're trying to keep some kind of a balance here, possibly with this person. Um, kind of like, you know, wanting to maintain some kind of an interaction. So you are giving something to this, at least energetically. But just, I, I feel like you're, you're not giving 100%. You're kind of like holding back. Um, and if you are giving more, I feel like you, you haven't really received that in return. But I mostly see this as you not really having given it, maybe wanting to, but not giving it because you know you're not going to get the same in return at this point in time at least. Let's see the hanged man, the queen of cups, and the knight of cups. Yeah, there's definitely, you're definitely feeling, <laughs> feeling things for this person, um, but you're, it's like you're waiting, you're waiting for them to make the move. And it, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're like waiting in the bad sense of the word, um, you're, you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm only going to give this much. I'm only, I'm only going to give <clears throat> this much energy or this much of my, my mind or, you know, whatever to this person. And from there on out, it's up to them if they, if they want to come in. Let's see the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like deep down, you know, you're you are wishing that 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 things will happen, that there will be action taken towards you. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, if you feel the connection with this person, you feel the connection with this person. We can't help what we what we desire. So I'm not saying that in a bad way at all. And for others of you, I feel like you know this could even be related to something new. Like you just you know you just want something. You just want something that is going to fulfill your wishes. You know, be be what <clears throat> what you deserve. Be what makes you happy. Somebody who's going to pamper you and and take care of you basically. All right, let's see what's going on with this person here. So for the Two of Swords, we have the Page of Wands and the Four of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody who, I feel like they were keeping themselves in a, in a situation or in a state where they, they, they were dissatisfied. Um, I, 
It does come in as them being like this page of wands towards you, so giving something very small, um, being curious about you, um, but then at the same time having some doubts, having some hesitations. There may have also been some conflict in terms of communication, which left them feeling very disappointed. But I also see them as having kept themselves in a state of disappointment, possibly even um, even ignoring you, maybe. But that didn't that wasn't really what they wanted. That didn't that didn't make them happy. Let's see the world. I feel like it's like they're putting an end to that. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, because this person is um, left feeling alone, feeling like there has been a loss, as I said in the very beginning. And because of that, um, there's been a lot of stress. So it almost feels like It feels like, you know, something happened with this person and then maybe like things kind of just, <clears throat> there was either a betrayal or there was, um, I don't know if it was an ending. I'm not necessarily seeing an ending card. More of like, you know what, we just don't agree. And so because of that, this person feels like, you know, there's something that they missed out on. Because it's like things got more distant between the two of you or something shifted. And so they were feeling alone and this led to a lot of stress for them. And so that's why it's like they're they're closing out this they're closing out this cycle of the two of swords of you know, not, not doing anything to change the situation, not doing anything to change, you know, whatever it is that has been disappointing. Again, it feels like this is somebody who may have been taken advantage of in some way, um, or maybe took advantage of you in some way. And then it's like, yeah, they're having this revelation of what they have lost. So that's giving them some kind of hope here with the star card. So let's clarify that. <clears throat> what well, we got? We got three. We have the three of wands, the eight of cups, and the ten of cups. So I feel like they're removing themselves from a particular situation here. <clears throat> And it's possibly a situation that has been dragging out for a while. Um, <clears throat> something, yeah, something that has been going on for a while. And I do feel like it's related back to this Five of Swords, whatever that is. And it's giving them hope for this Ten of Cups, right? This happiness love um, coming together. I don't necessarily see the action just yet, but I do see there being this hope, <clears throat> as well as healing and a wishing for this connection to kind of come back. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles for the potential outcome. The Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles again, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is your reaction to this. Because um, I feel like you're kind of, even though you still want this, you are on some kind of a new path here. You are a new path. You, I, I feel like you are still kind of giving to this energetically. But at the same time, though, you're also independent. You're more self-reliant. That's what you're moving towards. And so I feel like, you know, um, I don't know what this person is going to end up doing <clears throat> in the future, but it does look like, you know, they're having this hope. They're having this wish, but I feel like you're going to be a little bit more guarded about it. The 
because you're going to be feeling really good about your, your own self. And, um, yeah, kind of like the door is still open, but you're, I feel like you're just going to have some kind of, um, boundaries or, you know, like set certain conditions. Like you will only accept this, you know, if that five of swords is completely gone, right? That whatever that betraying energy was. So let's see if this resonated the final message for you. We have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. So yeah, maybe some of you um, needed to hear that. So just take it as it resonates for you. And yeah, Aquarius, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.